Iron ore is beneficiated in, in a number of ways. There are some iron ore deposits which can be sold basically as direct shipping ore if the iron content is high enough. So if your iron content of your ore, ore is, can be, say, more than 60%, and if you think back to your hematite and magnetite, you're dealing pure hematite and pure magnetite has around 70% iron in it. So if you can... Um, do some very minor upgrading of that material, uh, if it, and it's quite pure, then you can generally sell it as direct shipping ore. If you've got magnetite ores, um, and magnetite by its very name means that it's magnetic, then you can use magnetic processes, magnetic separation processes, to separate and upgrade and beneficiate the magnetite. Hematite, limonite and goethite are not magnetic, but they're very dense, they're quite heavy minerals, and you can use some form of gravity processing, such as uh, cyclones and heavy media separation and flotation to actually separate them and upgrade them again. Relatively cheap beneficiation processes to upgrade the level of iron ore into something that you can then sell. At times, producers will also do additional upgrades. They'll actually, um, for very fine materials, they might convert them into pellets or do, do produce some sinters that then allow them to, to sell them to the market up after that. A fairly simple uh, beneficiation flow sheet here is shown here. Um, this is a really simple one, basically uh, shows uh, a producer with high grade ore, um, what we call off specification ore and low grade ore, and really all they're simply doing is, is crushing the material and doing some blending to achieve particular specifications that they're then selling to the market. And a lot of companies, a lot of the smaller companies will be able to do something very simple like this and, and make good money. In terms of a magnetic iron ore flow, iron ore beneficiation flow sheet is a little bit more complicated. You've got to crush it, but then you've actually got to grind it into finer material. Not quite talcum powder, um, but it's sort of a gritty feel if you, were, if you were touching it with your hands. And it goes through various magnetic separation processes to yield a product that you can then sell. Just very briefly, what is beneficiation? Beneficiation is a really, uh, it's a, a term that really just describes any form of process that upgrades the amount of okay. economic mineral that, um, that you're looking at. So beneficiation can apply to minerals other than iron ore or, or commodities other than iron ore. Um, sometimes it's just simply crushing and screening and washing, which means that you get rid of some of the clay minerals that are associated with iron ore. And that process alone could turn something uh, that might be 40% iron into something that's 45 or 50 or even more percent iron. And so we call that beneficiation. It's upgrading or improving the quality or the, comp the, the purity so of the mineral that you're dealing with. So it, it, it's used regularly in iron ore, but it has relevance to other commodities as well. One of the important things with iron ore is, is the issue of trace elements. And the inclusion of quite small amounts of some elements have a very major impact or effect on characterization of ore and the use of the iron ore in steelmaking production. Sometimes these effects are very good and sometimes they're very bad. Things like carbon, chromium, manganese, nickel, molybdenum are, are deliberately added to impart a particular character or durability or strength or, or particular other feature that is desirable that allows the steel to be used for particular applications. Things like uh, silicon, phosphorus, aluminium, sulphur are much more carefully controlled because the, the smelters and the, and the processes need to have a very careful monitoring of how much content uh, of those metals and materials is in their iron ore because it, it actually can cause major problems. Uh, and so when you talk about specifications of iron ore, um, then generally uh, often producers uh, are, are operating to specifications of certain amounts of silica and certain amounts of aluminium and certain amounts of sulphur that they don't want to go above. Otherwise they start paying penalties on and if there's too much of some of these, penal, uh, these trace elements, then the iron ore actually becomes unsellable.